Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of what the, we've got in the garden so far. This is uh, the end of July, going on the beginning of August. So uh, let's take a look. guys we're just going to go through some of our stuff it's really taken off and grown well now we have our tomatillos over here in the corner and then we start into the tomatoes if you move down this way we have we're getting yellow squash and green squash and then we've also got some cucumber plants I'm trying to get them to vine up over there we are getting cucumbers and squash. We've been eating those the last couple weeks. And lettuce. We have a whole bunch of lettuce in this other bed. Get these boxes. Yeah. The dead box. Somebody didn't do a very good job. You know, we actually <laughs> found figured out that we might have put too much compost in there. Oh, that would kill yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. So, so but the kids have some flowers. And over here we have our kale going, and we have green beans, and we've gotten two pickings of green beans. And then down here is some pepper plants, and they're setting on, but not ready yet. And a whole bunch of tomatoes. And tomatoes run the whole length of the fence. You can see they're already taller than the fence over there. And they're doing All the good. Way down. They're getting big. We just need to ripen up now. Side, every all the way along the sides we have our lettuce planted. Yeah. We've been eating and a ton of lettuce. We've got some more cucumbers trying to more trellis up here. Yeah. And some hot peppers and beans. Of course onions. They're randomly scattered throughout there. You can see the onions here. Yeah. Onions along the side. Then it comes into our cherry tomatoes. They just the tomatoes just haven't ripened up yet. Usually we by now we have some, but they just well, haven't ripened. Yeah, maybe in a week or two. Yeah. And mid August is about the time. I got some radishes down over there. We have been getting radishes out of the garden too. Yes, we have. This is the bed that needs work, so yeah. we need to fill it in with dirt and start over. We had some problems with some stuff in here. But our lettuce is growing really well on the sides. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you can see the plants are kind of sparse and dying off in the middle there. So. Yeah, that's where we had our kale plant problem and we ripped it out. So we need to bring in some fresh dirt for next year. We got over here, we've got our basil. And I need to pick basil and make pesto and freeze it. There. Giant mess pile. <laughs> and then we've got some more stuff going here in the corner. Pea pods. And then more tomatoes. More tomatoes. And then back in the corner we've got the rhubarb plant that we've transplanted and it is doing it's, it's actually growing really well. Yeah. So it it's, like we pick some. Yep. It is doing good. Let's go check out the stuff in the front. So out here we got our herbs going and most of them are doing really well. Um, dill. We did have a weed problem in here that kind of pushed out our dill, which was okay. There was too much growing in there. So we have dill, we and some willies. More dill. More dill. You know onions? One for onions. Big sage plant. And some modifiers over there. And then we've got our... A whole bunch of parsley. parsley. <laughs> it's all going to seed, but that's okay. It reseeds itself, which is nice. We can still pick through there. More parsley. parsley. Yeah, that's... It kind of... It's like weed. Yeah, pretty much. And then down here we just have... Um, chives. Chives and lavender. And Oregano, savory. We did fry some savory. Had a 
whole bunch mm -hmm. that plants have taken over. The rest of it's just pretty much wildflowers and some cornflowers. That's what things look like so far. Yep. All right, guys, we really appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour of the garden. Stay tuned for more.